With rising prices on items, bundles, and even Pokecoins, Pokemon Go is one of the most expensive free games you can pick up. But what if you could experience all the fun and excitement of the game without having to break the bank? Well, today we go over some of the best free-to-play tips, tricks, and strategies used, starting with the single biggest missed opportunity for free-to-play players, Field Research Pokecoins. This may sound too good to be true, but it was actually real. In May of 2020, Pokemon Go announced, right now the only way to earn Pokecoins is to defend gyms, but since Pokemon Go's release, we've added features that have vastly changed the way you play. In addition, with more trainers playing at home, we're looking to provide more ways for you to earn Pokecoins while playing in one place. So in the future, we'll be rewarding you with Pokecoins for activities besides defending gyms. We'll soon be testing this update only with trainers in Australia, and it'll be coming to all trainers after this testing phase. That's that's right, you are able to earn Pokecoins by hitting accurate throws, catching Pokemon, using berries, and other easy in-game activities. But you could only earn 5 Pokecoins per day doing this. Until a month later, a brand new update came out that reduced the overall amount of Pokecoins you could earn in a day from 55 to 50, but boosted the field research Pokecoins from 5 to 20. In August, Pokemon Go announced, We've seen some promising results from the limited Pokecoin rewards test and have found that more trainers are receiving free Pokecoins than ever before. Trainers who cannot readily access gyms have been able to earn Pokecoins through a wider variety of featured activities. Then this feature opened up to even more countries. It was going great and people were having an awesome time, even earning just a tiny bit of Pokecoins from doing things that they would typically do in-game already. But then in October of 2020, the plug was pulled. With Pokemon Go announcing, based on trainer feedback and collected data, this Pokecoin Pokecoin rewards test will be discontinued in all test countries, which is really unfortunate, but even though this feature sounded like an amazing thing, there were definitely some problems with it. Being able to put Pokemon in gyms and just let them passively accumulate Pokecoins was really convenient for a lot of people. So removing almost half of these available coins and replacing them with super duper active daily quests annoyed a lot of players and disrupted a lot of Pokecoin grinding. But it doesn't matter because now it's gone. So what are the best ways to play for free and what are the best ways to get free Pokecoins? Well, the most obvious way, the current Pokecoin system. Right now you can earn up to 50 free Pokecoins per day through the gym system, and it's pretty easy. All you have to do is just find a gym that your team owns, or find an enemy gym and then battle it down, put a Pokemon in it, rinse and repeat with a couple other gyms, then sit back and relax. And let those passive income Pokecoins flow. You'll earn one Pokecoin every 10 minutes your Pokemon sits in a gym, which is six Pokecoins per hour, with a max of 50 Pokecoins after eight hours and 20 minutes. And obviously if you have a bunch of Pokemon in a bunch of different gyms, you hit this way faster, and you can only have a max of 20 Pokemon in gyms at a time. But by doing that, you obviously can hit your daily limit of 50, way quicker. There is an annoying catch though. In order for you to collect your free Pokecoins that your Pokemon has accumulated from sitting in the gym, that Pokemon needs to be knocked out of the gym. So if you find a secret gym up in the mountains where no one plays and you know you can have your Pokemon sitting there forever, it may accumulate 50 Pokecoins, but you're never gonna get them. Which is why many people have friends, community members, or second accounts that they use to knock their Pokemon out every single day so that they can get their coins. It's called gym trading. And if you're more of a solo player like myself, just basically put as many Pokemon as you can in as many gyms as possible and just pray they get knocked out. Now, this isn't the only way to earn free Pokecoins. There's another way that's a bit more grindy, but definitely works, and that's through surveys. Surveys allow you to earn small amounts of money just by answering questions online. Google Opinion Rewards is a great option, verified option that doesn't take a whole lot of time and can generate you some passive income. I guess it's not passive income, but some, it's fairly passive. You just download the app, complete an introductory survey, and then keep your notifications on. Every once in a while, you'll get a new notification saying that there's a new survey available to complete. Each survey typically only takes a couple of minutes and only has like a handful of questions. So super easy, super passive. And from doing this, you can earn anywhere around five to $10 a month, which obviously isn't a whole lot, but is definitely a little bit extra for raid passes or or for items or events or whatever you want to spend it on. This money will give you Google Play credit though, so this is more for people who have an Android. And the rewards do expire, so make sure to use them. But don't worry, this isn't the only free survey app you can earn money from, there are tons of them. Just literally search survey app in your app store and you will find all of the ones that are available to your device in your local area. Because the ones you see on my screen, you might not have access to. But there are plenty of options like Survey Junkie with 70,000 4.5 star reviews, Eureka with 300 and 65,000 4.7 star reviews. Surveys on the go with 72,000 4.6 star reviews. And a lot of these places will allow you to cash 
out in either pure cash or gift cards. So if you really wanna grind it out and just sell a little bit of your personal data and opinions, you could probably earn quite a bit of money per month just by doing a ton of these different survey apps all at the same time, and then convert that into Pokecoins. Another strategy and probably the single best for more entrepreneurially minded people is affiliate marketing. This is basically a system that allows you to make money selling products that you don't own, you don't have to ship, you don't have to send. Super easy, free money. So if you find yourself to be a creative person, someone that likes making content, or that just really enjoys and uses TikTok a lot, you might actually be able to make like thousands of dollars per month doing this, which you could obviously use to purchase Pokecoins or whatever your heart desires. Okay, so here's how to do this. First off, log on to TikTok. Hit the three bars in the top right of your profile, click Creator Tools, and scroll down to TikTok Shop for Creators. Click that and apply. To do this, you'll have to have over 5,000 followers and be over 18 years of age. So if you don't meet these requirements, you can go ahead and skip ahead into the video for some other amazing Pokemon Go tips and tricks. But this is definitely generally worth knowing. It's like a future of marketing kind of thing. After you apply for TikTok Shop Affiliate, just give it a couple days for your application to get accepted. Then go back into your creator tools, back into TikTok Shop for the creator. Then you'll want to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and click Product Marketplace. Search Mystic Rips in the search bar. Then add all of the Pokemon card products to your shop that you wish to feature and sell. And now every single time somebody makes a purchase on this product from your profile or content, you'll earn 5% commission for selling it. So for every $100 you sell, you earn $5. It's literally free money. You don't have to buy the Pokemon cards, you don't have to package them up, you don't have to ship them out. My company does all of that, and it's a pain. You just have to make content and promote the products. And you do that by making a creative video, either talking about the product or what's inside of it or opening it yourself. Then upload the video onto TikTok, click the add link button, then product button, then add whichever pack or box you'd like to feature. And again, you'll get 5% commission on anything you sell. You can do that with our products at Mystic Rips or really any products across TikTok. And people are making literally tens of thousands of dollars a month doing this. So it's a great strategy, both for getting free Pokecoins and just like doing businessy stuff. But what if I told you Pokecoins are irrelevant? And there are strategies that you can use in-game to progress super quickly without having to spend anything. One year ago, I compared my Pokemon Go account, which I've spent like 10,000 plus dollars on, to someone's account who is completely free to play. And the results were freaking shocking. Oh my God, are these just the overall stats? Dude, this is insane. Whoa, 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 okay, okay, hold on. We gotta compare. I guess we'll get right into it. Let's compare stats just straight away. So here's my account, my level 50 account as well. And looking down at the stats, oh my God, it's not even close. Free to play, by the way, free to play. Distance walked, 57,000 kilometers compared to my 8,000. Okay, I just, I guess I'm a little lazy. Pokemon caught 2.4 million. I've caught 187,000 and I'm proud of the 187,000. No longer am I proud of that. 1,500 unique Pokesubs visited compared to my, what? Oh my God, that's 1.5 million. I thought that was 50, 1.5 million unique Pokestops? I've gone to 88,000. Total XP, 1 billion total XP as a free to play player. I've done 272 million. Again, another stat that I was proud of until this moment now. Now this person didn't spend anything on Pokemon Go and had one of the most impressive accounts ever. Playing for free in Pokemon Go isn't as hard as you think. There are tons of strategies that top players use to maximize their gameplay without breaking their bank. So I'll give you a couple. And then in the future, I'll make another video going way deeper in depth on all of these things on a full free to play Pokemon Go guide. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. But some high level strategies. Field research. These are typically 100% free to complete and consistently give really, really good rewards. And the rewards are always changing depending on what event is happening at the time. These can give you super great rewards like Stardust, XP, berries, golden raspberries, ultra balls, all that. And most importantly, Pokemon encounters. This is because the IV floor of field research is 10, 10, 10, which means you have a much higher likelihood of getting a high IV or 100% perfect IV Pokemon from field research than you do in the wild. So grinding field research encounters gives you a much better shot at super duper meta relevant Pokemon. And again, since the rewards are constantly always changing, there's always new and different and meta relevant Pokemon filtering in and out of the field research. So there's always more options to hunt. Walking your buddy. This is a great way to just earn passive XL candy, mega energy, regular candy for specific Pokemon. To do this, you literally just pick like a useful Pokemon that you need more candy for, like Tyranitar, and then walk with it. Just have it as your buddy and just play normally. By doing this, you'll just passively earn 
Tyran or Larvitar Candy and XL Candy, and Tyranitar Mega Energy. Now to do this most efficiently, you're gonna wanna excite your buddy, which basically boosts the rate at which you earn rewards. I think it's in half. So like, let's say something takes five kilometers to get one candy, you'll now only take 2.4, 2.5 kilometers. You can excite your buddy by using Poffins, which are typically paid resources. You can get them for free from special events and also from the, I think it's the Pokestop Scan Research quests that I think still exist today. Now there is another way to excite your buddy for free. It does take a long time. Basically you just give him a treat, play with him, take a snapshot, and you do that every 30 minutes for three hours, which is a really, really long grind. But I'm pretty sure by the end of those three hours, your buddy will be excited for a couple of hours, an hour, but it's all for free. And it's the same thing as giving it a poffin, which again is usually a paid item, which is kind of the general theme for free to play, play in Pokemon Go. If you want all the cool stuff in a sick account without spending, you're gonna have to grind. Other major tips include a Pokemon Go Plus, which is obviously not a free device, but you could ask for it for Christmas or use affiliate marketing money to buy it or mow some lawns. The biggest thing with free to play in Pokemon Go is just constantly catching Pokemon and spinning Pokestops because it's the best free way to gain XP, gain Stardust, get cool catches. And the most efficient way to do that is with an auto catcher. Another huge strategy is using PVP, which is a completely free to play system in Pokemon Go that gives great rewards. Currently, PVP is the number one way to gain Stardust, whether free to play or paid. And Stardust is absolutely needed in game to power up your Pokemon to get your squad stronger and more efficient. And speaking of getting your squad more efficient, you could also get free legendaries from PVP, which is the next major tip, how to get free legendary Pokemon. There's basically three major ways. One, using your daily free raid pass. Two, battling Giovanni, the Team Go Rocket leader with that super rocket radar whenever a new event comes out for him, which allows you to catch a free shadow legendary Pokemon. And three, PVP. Once you reach rank 20 in the Go Battle League, you can encounter the current legendary raid boss as your PVP encounter. While the legendaries aren't guaranteed and the rates to find them are kind of low. The next big tip, taking advantage of events. In Pokemon Go, there's typically always an event happening, like at all times. And every month, there are specific events that always reoccur, like spotlight hours and community days. There's events that give you two times catch candy, four times XP for spinning Pokestops, two times catch Stardust, hatch XP, skip, all this kind of stuff. Anything that you're looking to do or get in Pokemon Go, there will be an event that comes out that will help boost that, including shiny Pokemon. A big thing a lot of free to play players chase are shiny Pokemon. They're much easier to get if you're a paid player, but if you're free to play, every single month there's an event called Community Day, which brings one in 25 boosted shiny odds to the wild for three hours. This is the best way to get shinies. Again, paid or free to play, this is the best way. And events in general are pretty much the number one way to play Pokemon Go. Again, there's always events happening. They're always changing, including the Pokemon spawning, new shinies coming out, and bonuses, so staying up to date on upcoming events will really give you an edge to your play, especially if you're free to play. Because again, anything you're looking to accomplish in Pokemon Go, there will be an event that will help you do that, and all rare shiny Pokemon eventually come out to the free audience via events. Kind of like how Aksu was a really expensive premium shiny Pokemon that you could really only get in raids and eggs, which then eventually came to Community Day where everyone got to catch shiny Aksu. And again, I'll be making another video in the future going much more in depth on the best free to play strategies. So make sure to subscribe if you have not already. I hope you enjoyed these tips and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.